Welcome back to Hobby Adventures. Today's video, we are gonna do mail call. Wah! All right, guys, we have a lot to cover. Um, this is only a little bit of what's going on. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of trees. Uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So first one here is actually apple trees. As you can see, this is uh, N scale, Z scale. This one is from Knock, Notch. I apologize if I'm uh, not pronouncing it properly, but uh, looks pretty good. So there's an example right up there. I got this one from my local hobby store, as you can see. This one here is actually HO scale, but uh, I can still use it. Like this is supposed to be cotton plants, but they actually look like flower trees. So I'm gonna be using this one. So this is a good example of where you can use HO scale uh, products for N scale. And after this one here, I'll just show you the part number. Cotton plants, 40 in a pack, HO scale. Next, a whole bunch of bags. This one here doesn't exactly have a manufacturer. I got this as off of eBay. Um, yeah, so I have a whole bunch of palm trees. Actually, it looks pretty half decent. That's gonna be for the beach area and, uh, beach and surrounding area. So I'll take one out so you guys can take a look. It's actually not a bad looking tree. Nope. Next, five bags of these trees. Look all right. Wasn't that expensive? Uh, to be honest with you, I can't remember how much I paid for it, but uh, it looks like some of it needs to be readjusted. They were in a bag squished, so. But yeah, five bags of these. I think in total there's like 50 or something like that, or maybe 100. I'm not too sure. All I know that there is a lot of trees here. Next is something that I've had for a while, uh, sort of recycling my old trees. This is a uh, Woodland Scenics fine leaf foliage with the armature tree armatures. So I'm going to be making some more um, like Everest trees type of thing. All right. So the next uh, the next things that I got was actually pretty exciting. You probably see it. I have lamp posts. The first lamp post that I got. Uh, it's the regular single overhead light uh, with the curve on it. These have kind of a bluish light to it, but it's okay. You know what? In my area here, we're starting to convert from the high intensity displayed light or the HID lamps, overhead uh, street lights, to LEDs, and they're actually about the same color. So they're like that crisp, uh, crystal blue white. All right, I ended up getting 60 of these lights. That's a friggin' a lot of light posts, a lot. They work nice, they shine nice. That's the next batch. This is the uh, third batch. The next style of lights that I got are these uh, T, T post lights. So that's gonna be really cool. Uh, again, this is the same color as the other uh, single head LED uh, lights. They look nice, so. These ones, like I said, I'm, I'm thinking of putting it over, over here as the trucks come inside. Okay, next style of light that I got was, are these. This is like um, the same lights that you'd see on the highways. Your overhead lights, there's multiple lights in here. There's a one, there's a one two, three, four, five, six lights. So it looks pretty nice. They light up. These ones have like a warm, a warm light to it. So this is the, your typical HID or high in, high intensity discharge lights that you would see on the highways, anyways, uh, with that kind of like that yellowish color to it. So this could be for either the yard or for uh, maybe a highway. So like you would see here, it's about it's about two and a half, two and three quarter inches. It's probably high enough for uh, for a highway because if you ever look on the highways, these are not right on the ground. These are actually uh, sitting on the intermediate barricades or the center barricades on the highways. And those things are usually about like maybe about four feet high anyways. So you add another four feet scale feet to it, which will probably be something about half the size of, of here. Yeah, you can get an easy three, three and a half inches above above the highway group floor so for these lights I ended up getting four next I think I showed you these guys these are not from cattle actually what I did was this is just jewel case 
came for one of my uh, cuddle decoders I saved it and this is a good thing to use for storing these people but I think I showed you these guys these guys are my worker crew this is uh, from cuddle these figures I have two I have uh, kids at the beach and then uh, just random people at the beach as well so there's two packs here I'm not gonna even I'm not gonna even try to pronounce this name Preezer there you go. see see I, I tried <laughs> anyway so I got two of them I got two two versions uh, which one is this one family on the beach and then the next one I have is bathing people which is just different uh, different figures again that's gonna be for the beach and then leave the uh, the best one for last this thing oh my goodness I have to source this thing out because this is super expensive yeah so I got my first signal head from eBay I'm telling you man with shipping and everything bringing you here ended up costing me this one little tiny thing was like 40 bucks not happy with it there has to be a cheaper thing out there this is that that was unacceptable but whatever so I got it this is a three aspect head uh, they actually work so you have uh, red yellow and green um, LEDs they're all wired and uh, yeah so here you go so that's it for the mail call I don't think I'm gonna be buying anything else on um, anytime soon to try to mail to try to order anything by mail it's gonna take a really long time because of well you know Christmas is around the corner everyone's gonna be shipping a lot of stuff out there are a couple of things that I did order that I'm waiting for so when that comes in I will be sure to show you guys but like I said I don't think there's anything else really that I need for this area uh, but we'll see as we go on right that's how it is so I hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, if you really want leave a comment down below have a safe one and until next time, keep on modeling.